Good night, Antigua and Barbuda. Good night, St. Philip South. Good night to the people of St. Peter. And a special good night to our political leader, Mr. Howard Lovell. We are gathered here together as a united family once again to talk about the issues affecting our nation in Antigua and Barbuda. As a representative of any constituency, the MP starts with the responsibility of advocating for its constituents. Be of good standards, be respectful, genuine, and honest. However, in the constituency of St. Peter, we have seen for far too long now that the representative and the current administration cares no at all about the St. Peter people. An MP should be easily contacted, be visible before and after elections, and even on non-campaign days, go out in the constituency just to show you care. I asked the wonderful people of St. Peter, is this the case now? The answer was a resounding no. This simply indicates that this administration shouldn't be given a next chance to stop the process in Antigua and Barbuda and in St. Peter. With Tavon Harriet as your representative, with me as your humble servant, I am prepared to go the extra mile for you because UPP is the right team and the right choice. <laughs> leaders instill hope for the people. Positive leaders empower people to accomplish their goals. And this is what I am tasked with and prepared to do for the people of St. Peter. We will be working together as a team to get the job done. In the constituency of St. Peter, I am deeply saddened and troubled by two things I'll share with you tonight. The first thing is lack of representation, and the second one is insufficient healthcare access. Lack of representation is what this government is famously known for, so I don't need to say any more. In the healthcare system, St. Peter currently offers only one clinic. That clinic is in the Palm Village, and by all reports, that clinic is in a state of bother. How can we have a clinic that the majority of the constituency goes to, and yet still, our nurses have inadequate, uh, inadequate supplies to, to do their duties? How can we have healthcare facilities leaking when it rains? and nurses having to get buckets to catch water so it doesn't make a big mess. Mr. Health Minister, let me bring it to your attention again. There is a clinic in the Pierce Village. Please send a team up there to see what the issue is and get the clinic functional again. Our elderly people deserve better. The people of St. Peter deserve better. I have two plans for my constituency that I'll share with you tonight. The first one will be teaching real life skills. The second one is substantial infrastructure. And the third one will be technology. In the St. Peter constituency, we'll be having a workers program, which will be mainly centered about students who are not academically astute. We will be teaching real life skills like welding, farming, landscaping, steel bending, fishing, and other, other activities to get the students well equipped for real life opportunities. After completing the course, each individual will be given a certificate, and if they so desire, they will be given financial assistance to start their new businesses as entrepreneurs in society. This program, however, will not only serve as an educational basis, however, it will serve as a crime stopper. It will reduce the crime rates in the constituency of St. Peter and also in Antigua and Barbuda. The UPP administration, we cater for everyone, regardless of political affiliation, because we are the right team and the right choice. In our, con in our constituency in St. Peter, for far too long now, we have been neglected by this representative and this administration, and that must come to an end. 
in different areas of the constituency, mainly in Lightfoot, Gunchops, and Powham, and even in North Sound. The only thing that has changed from 10 to 15 years ago is houses. But wait, how can we have state-of-the-art homes in areas that are full with bush? How can we have homeowners spending serious monies on their respectable properties, and when it rains, they can't leave home to go to work or take their kids to school? The people of St. Peter deserve better. Far too long now, we are crying. And I'm here tonight to tell you the people, under the UPP government, with Tavon Harriet as your representative, your sitting MP, that will change because we are the right team and the right choice. <laughs> In the village of Parham, a community I hold close to my heart, I have serious plans to transform that community. The Parham village have this space. We sit nicely on the waterfront and we now have someone who cares about the constituency and the people. We will work together to elevate this constituency. The marketplace in Parham has the potential to seriously rival the public market in St. John's. We have many farmers in the constituency who could be ideally placed at the Parham market selling their fruits, vegetables, and handmade items. This could serve as a lucrative opportunity for not only the people of the constituency, but the people of Antigua and Barbuda. In this modern times, since COVID has been around, for a long period now, technology has been the most effective way to communicate. In my constituency, I have a verbal agreement with many of the, many of the communities to create WhatsApp chat groups in different various areas so we can serve as a critical tool that needs to be done to improve the area in the constituency. I have verbal agreement with many of them that not only to improve the community, but to uplift the people in the area. As the MP in waiting, I've made a commitment to meet quarterly with those community groups, whether it be Zoom or any other forum, so that we could learn and listen to improve the area of, the, of St. Peter. As a sportsman, it gives me no joy at all to talk about sports in this country. Sports on a whole needs serious attention and improvement. What we have presently can be considered a sport deterioration. We have no state-of-the-art facilities and elite athletes fighting the government for financial assistance. This clearly shows that this administration has been failing us repeatedly. There's no system in schools where we identify elite talents at an early age and no programs to nurture the talent if we so happen to find it. I have already started programs in Parham with youngsters from different communities, even outside of St. Peter, with the goal to find early talent and nurture it for the future. A UPP administration will develop programs in St. Peter and throughout Antigua and Barbuda, in which we can harness and develop our young people in the sporting arena. No more are we to accept and be comfortable with our elite athletes having to travel abroad to perfect their skill. We must develop that and we must do it now. The UPP is the right choice. Sherfield Boring is the right choice. Tavon Harriet is the right choice. And Antigua and Barbuda, let's vote the United Progressive Party. It's the only hope for Antigua and Barbuda. UPP, the right team and the right choice. <laughs>